Hi everyone and welcome back to another trip report. Today's flight was the first over a number of flights I took on board Fiji Airways on my way to America and back. Check-in at Sydney Airport was right at the far end of the terminal with a separate line for business class. This came in handy as there was a decent queue for me in the regular line. Before long I was checked in and on my way airside. The Sydney International Terminal has recently been through a substantial upgrade. You see it as soon as you pass through security and walk into a vast duty free area. Going further down, you come to a dining area and new high end retail stores. Here's my plane coming into land and the moment Fiji time kicks in. The incoming flight was slightly late and meant my flight was delayed by over an hour. Finally, they called priority boarding and it was time to head on board. The aircraft taking us to Nandi was an Airbus A350 delivered to Fiji Airways in late 2019. Business class on the Fiji A350 is in a single forward cabin laid out in a 1-2-1 configuration. Personally, I quite like the cabin design and finishes. It looks fresh and clean with the off-white and sort of browny grey colour. Here's my seat for today's flight. At the seat was a pillow, blanket and an instruction card on how to use the seat. On the left hand side is an armrest which contained a bottle of water and noise cancelling headphones. On the right side was the main console, with two storage areas, power and USB outlets, remote control and seat control panel. Needless to say, there was plenty of legroom and space to stretch out while seated. Despite being a full cabin, the seats offer everyone great privacy thanks to the wraparound side wall. The crew soon came around with drinks and a towel with a cool Fiji branding on it. We eventually pushed back and slowly made our way over to the runway. As we took off, I had some nice views back over the airport, but it would have been nice to sit on the A side and see the city as we turned. The tray table slides down from under the screen and unfolds to quite a generous size. The crew came around and took our orders for the meal service. I had a look through the menu and chose the beef.
The IFE screen can be controlled by either touchscreen or remote control. The screen was quick and responsive. As far as content goes, there was plenty on offer to keep you entertained. Loads of movies, TV shows, music and games. In case you don't want to reach to the screen, you can use the remote. Personally, I found the remote a bit awkward to use and preferred to just use the screen. Fiji also offers Wi-Fi on board, but I didn't try it. I'm not really an onboard Wi-Fi expert to know whether or not the prices are reasonable. The seat offers a lot of adjustment and I'm sure you'll be able to find a position to be comfortable, either slightly reclined and watching a movie, or fully reclined all the way to a fully flat bed. On this short hop to Fiji, we didn't get any extras like a mattress pad, but it is offered on the longer sectors. About an hour after takeoff, we were offered another drink and a small snack to begin the meal service. However, running on Fiji time meant it took another one and a half hours until the main meal arrived. This was two and a half hours into the flight, which is only about four hours overall. And as you might be able to see, my beef looks suspiciously like chicken as I was given the wrong meal. I raised this with the crew and was told that the beef had run out. I was pretty annoyed for a couple of reasons. First of all, I was penalised for sitting at the back of the cabin. Usually I prefer to sit near the back so I don't disturb anyone while filming. Unfortunately, this does mean I may occasionally miss out on my preferred meal. However, my bigger complaint was that nobody actually informed me that there was no more beef or asked me what other meal option I would like. I was just given the chicken. The food itself was fine, no complaints there, and I ate the chicken. Then, suddenly, a surprise, a beef appears. And boy am I glad it did. The beef was super tender and tasty, and as my hangriness subsided, I thanked the crew for finding me a beef meal. It would have been too easy for the crew to not offer me the beef even after they found it, but I appreciated their honesty with this. The sun started to set as we made our approach into Nandi, and it was dark by the time we landed. Overall, I'd say this was a decent way to fly. The service definitely lacks the polish and finesse of the regular major carriers, but Fiji is more of a leisure airline in my opinion. You kind of adjust your expectations to suit. Despite the very relaxed attitude to time, the seat was great, entertainment was plentiful, and food was well above my expectations. At the right price, Fiji Airways Business Class is definitely worth a go.